Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Bobby and today I'm going to show you how I've been training for my upcoming karate grading. And for those of you who've been following my channel would know that I've been doing Kyokushin Karate. Kyokushin Karate is a full contact style of karate that emphasizes on realistic fighting and physical toughness. It has a belt system that goes from white belt to black belt and each belt has two levels. I'm currently a yellow belt with a black tip, which is the fifth Q. And to get to the next level, which is green belt, I have to pass a tough test that includes basic kata, self-defense and sparring. All right, so as you can see from the video here, um, I'm actually going to the park to do some training with my friend Azar. He is a brown belt with a black tip, which is the first cue. And he's actually going for his black belt test in this upcoming grading, which is the highest and most difficult level in Kyokushin Karate. He's been helping me a lot with my trainings on and off, giving me tips and advice on how I can improve my Kihon, my Kata, and my Kumite. So come along and join us as we prepare for our upcoming grading. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. All right, we are here at the park and we are ready to start our training session. We're going to do some warm-ups first, um, basic stretchings, and then we're going to go into some Kihon, which is the basic techniques of Kyokushin Karate. And then we're going to practice some punches, kicks, blocks, and combinations. We're going to focus on speed, power, and the accuracy of our movements, as well as the proper breathing, which is the ki, the shout we make at the end of the strike. Alright, so Kihon is the Japanese word for basics and it refers to the fundamental techniques of Karate. Kihon includes punches, kicks, blocks, strikes and a few stances. It is very important to practice Kihon regularly as it helps to improve form, power, speed and accuracy. So now we're going to do some Kihon exercises with my Senpai Aza and he taught me how to do each technique correctly, how to breathe, how to shout for my Kiai when I execute them. He also told me to do each technique with full concentration and spirit as if I was facing a real opponent.
All right, so we're done with the warm-up and the kihon. Now we're moving to edokeko. Edokeko is a Japanese word that means moving practice. It is a type of training for karate where it involves performing techniques while moving forwards and backwards in a line. Indikeko actually helps to improve our footwork, our balance, our timing, and our coordination while practicing the techniques that we use in karate. Now, we're going to be doing some Edogeko exercises together with my senpai Aza, and he taught me how to do each technique correctly, how to breathe at every strike, and when to kiai at the end of the execution. He also told me to do each technique with full concentration and spirit as if I was facing a real opponent. Alright, so we're done with the warm-up and the kihon and the uh, edukeko. Now we're moving on to the kata, which are the forms and patterns of Kyokushin Karate. Katas are a way of practicing the techniques in a sequence and also developing balance, rhythm, and coordination of the mind and body. We're going to be practicing some katas from the basics to the most challenging ones. And of course, we will review those that we already know from the basics and focus on the katas that we will be required to do during our upcoming grading. For me, I will be practicing my Yang Si Kata and Pinan Yon. Alright, so me being me, 
I've done my kata practice focusing on the katas that I need for my upcoming grading. Now it's my senpai Aza's turn to practice his kata which I have no clue um, what they are. Um, I do know that he will be doing uh, Saifa and Gek Sai Dai. Um, fortunately because he is uh, first queue which is like really far away from my belt I haven't started practicing any of these katas but it's definitely something interesting to watch Okay. <laughs> Can I follow my vlog on YouTube? YouTube no. I only saw you on uh, TikTok, <laughs> Dojo with uh, Bobby. Yeah. yeah. And Facebook. Ready? Okay, and so after all that, um, Senpai also wanted us to do our physical conditioning, which in our grading we will need to do um, 30 knuckle push-ups and of course um, this is really to train our physical toughness endurance and to make sure that we are I guess physically and mentally prepared for anything that comes our way Okay, and so over here, Senpai wanted to practice our kicks. Kicks are actually very important in karate. They can deliver powerful and effective strikes to the opponent's body or head. There are many types of kicks in karate. So today we are practicing our Jodan Mawashi and our Ushiro. So each kick has its own advantage and disadvantages and it requires different skills and techniques to execute them properly. Alright, so that was the kumite training before the upcoming grading. I guess it's really dark, I don't know how the footage will look like, but hey, at least I got some exercise in and then hopefully I can train up my skills and techniques for the upcoming grading. Hoss!